torque element. Imagine a world where your daily helper, your coworker, maybe even your caregiver, isn't human at all. It breathes no air, needs no food, and never gets tired. It moves like you, talks like you, and learns from everything it does, faster than any human ever could. Now picture this mechanical being standing beside you, folding your laundry, driving your car, cooking your dinner, or performing surgery on a loved one, all with flawless precision and zero fatigue. That world isn't science fiction anymore. It's closer than we think. And the man pulling us toward it is the same one who sent cars to space and rockets to Mars, Elon Musk. In Tesla's third quarter earnings call, Musk did what he always does, dropped words that shook the tech world. We'll have a production intent prototype ready to show off in quarter one, he said casually, probably February or March. And just like that, the countdown began. The Optimus Gen 3 humanoid robot is coming. But Musk didn't stop there. He spoke of Optimus 4, 10 million units. Optimus 5, maybe 50 to 100 million. The word sounded impossible, yet with Musk, impossible usually means just not yet. Inside Tesla's factories today, prototypes of these bots are already alive working, moving, learning. They cook, serve, and even interact with guests at company events. They aren't props anymore. They're part of the team. But the story that's unfolding is far bigger than a robot that can clean your kitchen. This is about the birth of a new labor force, a new kind of species. One that doesn't sleep, doesn't complain, and never needs a paycheck. So what can the Tesla bot really do right now? What makes the coming generations different? And why is Musk skipping straight to Gen 4 and Gen 5 when Gen 2 and Gen 3 haven't even hit the market? That's the mystery that has the entire world watching. During that same call, Musk's tone carried both excitement and quiet confidence. He said Optimus Gen 3 wouldn't even seem like a robot. It would feel like a person wearing a robot suit, so real that you'd have to poke it just to believe it's not human. Those who have followed Musk for years know what that means. Every time he describes something that sounds exaggerated, it later turns into a real product sitting in someone's garage or orbiting the Earth. Optimus Gen 3 is said to have a completely refined design. No exposed joints, no messy wiring, nothing that reminds you it's a machine. The metal skeleton is wrapped in a seamless outer shell that looks almost organic. Its movements, fluid, subtle, deliberate. Early testers have even said that watching it walk feels unsettling, because your mind keeps telling you it's human. The rumored OLED display on its face allows expressions. Smiles, curiosity, even small frowns. And inside, Tesla's Grok AI system will give it the power to understand speech and context like never before. One of the biggest leaps is in its hands. Human-like fingers that bend, twist, and sense texture with near-perfect accuracy. This changes everything, because hands define what a humanoid robot can truly do. From delicate surgeries to assembling Tesla's own vehicles, these hands could blur the boundary between manual labor and automation forever. When Musk first showed off Optimus 2.5 at the Tron Ares premiere, it wasn't just a publicity stunt. The robot performed kung fu-style motions, balanced effortlessly, held a microphone, even served food. Those who saw it up close described the movement as eerie, not mechanical, but graceful. That was the moment people realized this wasn't a clunky prototype anymore. This was evolution in motion. But the grand plan doesn't stop at Gen 3. Elon Musk envisions Gen 4 being mass-produced, 10 million units, and Gen 5 reaching as high as 100 million. To most, those numbers sound delusional. But this is the same man who said he'd build reusable rockets when the world laughed. He's been here before. Still, challenges remain. Insiders whisper that the Gen 3 reveal has already been delayed. Originally expected in November, it's now projected for the first quarter of next year. The reason? Those hands, the most complex component on the robot. They're the perfect storm of mechanical engineering, tactile sensing, and AI coordination. Musk admitted himself that making a hand that can feel, grip, and move like ours is as hard as building the rest of the robot combined. Yet that's exactly why this project matters. Every technical hurdle Tesla overcomes in building Optimus pushes humanity closer to something profound. A future where machines think, work, and move independently in our world. Musk claims each robot could achieve five times the productivity of a human because it doesn't rest. It can run 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. A human works roughly 2,000 hours annually. Optimus can work 8,760. Even accounting for maintenance, that's a revolution waiting to happen. Imagine five Optimus bots replacing an entire team of factory workers, never tiring, never arguing, never calling in sick. Now stretch that to hospitals. An Optimus robot performing precise surgeries without tremor, 
assisting nurses by lifting patients, cleaning operating rooms, or dispensing medication with perfect timing. In care homes they could help the elderly walk, eat, or simply have a conversation, all while learning from every task and sharing that knowledge with others through Tesla's neural network. Each optimist doesn't just exist alone. It connects. It learns from every other optimist around the world. A hive mind growing smarter each second. When one learns how to fold a shirt better, all of them learn instantly. This shared intelligence makes them evolve as a single collective species, always improving, always optimizing. But there's a reason Musk emphasizes safety again and again. Before these robots walk into homes or hospitals, they must be proven safe, physically, cognitively, and ethically. Tesla is developing strict behavior controls, grip strength limits, and emergency stop protocols. If you shout stop, it stops. No questions asked. Yet even with these assurances, the idea of 10 million humanoid robots walking among us raises deep questions. Who owns them? Who controls them? How do they change economies? When Musk speaks of 10 million units, and later, 100 million, he isn't just setting sales targets. He's describing a new social framework, one where labor, ethics, and purpose all get rewritten. During that same call, Musk even mentioned Optimus becoming a skilled surgeon in the future a robot capable of performing complex medical operations with zero human error. But for him that's not just a technological dream. It's moral. He often says his true goal isn't to make money, it's to make life better for humanity. He imagines a world with no poverty, where every person has access to quality care and time for the things that truly matter. He believes robotics and AI will make that possible, if guided correctly. Tesla's first working prototype of Optimus debuted back in 2022. Back then it could barely walk. Now only a few years later, it moves with grace and intelligence. Musk's team has taught it not only to see but to interpret, to understand emotions, tone, and context. That means when it speaks to you, it doesn't sound like a machine reading code. It sounds human, responsive, aware. And Musk's ambitions extend far beyond households. He imagines Optimus units teaching children, assisting doctors, caring for the disabled, even serving as on-duty nurses around the clock always alert, always ready. Imagine an elderly person living alone, yet never truly alone, their robotic companion able to call for help, monitor health, and provide companionship. This isn't dystopia. For Musk, it's compassion through technology. But what really turned heads recently wasn't the robot itself, it was Musk's decision to skip production of Gen 2 and Gen 3 and jump directly to Gen 4 and Gen 5. Critics called it reckless, saying he's moving too fast. But Musk says otherwise. To him, speed is survival. Earlier this year, when he demanded a $1 trillion compensation package from Tesla, many dismissed it as pure ego. But behind that bold number was a clear message. Control. Musk doesn't want to watch humanity's next evolution from the sidelines. He wants to steer it. Right now, he holds roughly 13% of Tesla shares. That, he argues, isn't enough to safeguard the direction of AI and robotics. He wants 25% enough to ensure these machines grow safely and ethically under his vision. He's not just building robots. He's building trust. Tesla plans to establish a manufacturing line capable of producing 1 million Optimus units per year by the end of 2026. That's only a couple of years away. A prototype ready in February or March of that same year. And from there, scaling to 10 million, 50 million, even 100 million units. Numbers that sound unreal until you remember, so did mass-produced electric cars once. The challenge? There's no existing supply chain for humanoid robots. Every wire, joint, and circuit must be designed and built in-house. It's the definition of vertical integration. But if any company can do it, it's Tesla, the same company that redefined car manufacturing, energy storage, and AI hardware from scratch. Musk's decision to leapfrog generations is strategic. He believes that Gen 2 and Gen 3 are valuable experiments but not scalable. To change the world, Tesla needs robots that can be mass-produced efficiently, perform safely, and evolve autonomously. Gen 4 and Gen 5 are built for that purpose. This is not just about product design, it's about rewriting the definition of work. He's also aware of the risks. In a recent candid moment, Musk joked about building an enormous robot army, and then wondered aloud whether one day he could be removed from his own company. Beneath the humor was truth, the tension between innovation and control. He doesn't seek domination, he says. He seeks stewardship, guiding powerful technologies before they evolve beyond human oversight. That's the paradox of progress. 
the same man warning the world about AI's dangers is also building its most advanced form. To him that's not hypocrisy. It's responsibility. Skipping to Gen 4 and Gen 5 signals more than ambition. It's urgency. A race to define how humanity will coexist with intelligent machines. Smaller steps might feel safer but they also risk surrendering leadership to others. To companies or nations less concerned with ethics and more with control. Musk would rather make the leap himself and manage the consequences later. It's easy to label this arrogance. But if history has shown anything, it's that Musk's arrogance often births reality. Reusable rockets. Self-driving cars. Global satellite internet. Each once dismissed, now reshaping industries. Optimus might be next. So, where does that leave us? In a time where lines between human and machine begin to blur. A future where productivity could multiply fivefold, where aging and disability meet compassion through technology, but also a future where jobs, ethics and human purpose will be redefined. The Optimus Project isn't just about robots. It's about identity. When machines can work, think and even emote like us, what does it mean to be human? Musk's vision suggests an answer. Being human isn't about labor. It's about imagination. He dreams of a world where work becomes optional, where creativity replaces survival as our purpose. A world powered by a quiet, tireless workforce that we built, and that now serves us back. Whether that's utopia or the first step towards something darker depends on how responsibly it's done. Optimus stands as both promise and warning. Promise, of freedom from mundane labor. Warning, of dependence on our own creations. And standing in the middle of it all is Elon Musk, balancing genius with gamble. Do you think skipping Gen 2 and Gen 3 is visionary courage or reckless overconfidence? Could Optimus truly become humanity's greatest invention, or our most dangerous mirror? Let us know what you think in the comments below. This is Torque Element, and with over 2,000 strong supporters we're just getting started. Hit the like button, share this video and make sure those notifications are on, because in just two days, another story from Tesla's unfolding future is coming your way. Until then stay curious, stay inspired and remember, the future isn't coming. It's already here, learning, moving and waiting for us to catch up.